So, we have a Planet Fitness lift. I've been going to Planet Fitness a lot. Just because the machines are really fucking good. And I, the Smith machine here feels great. So, back and chest is great here. Arms isn't bad. Legs is definitely okay. Quads is okay, but hamstrings is decent because you got like a really good hamstring curl machine. So, we're doing this for two sets. And then we're going to go to... We'll do this for three, and then we'll go to the machine fly, and then maybe like a, and like a, like some type of press for their middle chest. So we're gonna do three sets of this. So you guys will see this set, and then the third set, and then you guys will see the second set for that next thing. Next thing I'm doing. So let's go. We got on 45, 25, and a 10. So let's see how it goes. We're gonna shoot for around six to 10. I'm not, I don't know, six to 10. So I'm not gonna fully extend my arm either. Just slow on the way down, shoot for as much as I can for all the tension, so. We're gonna drop the weight. We're gonna just go with a 45, 25. Get around eight reps. One more. We're gonna do one more set. This is set two. Um, 10 to 15 reps. Squeeze the fuck out of my shit. Stretch. All the manner is, is just kind of putting your arms up like a 90 degree angle and then fully extending your arm to get that peak because that's how you get the most kind of stretch. And then put another way back. Just slow as shit. Feel that whole, feel that whole chest. All the, all the shoulder stretch. I'm trying to talk. I can't talk. But. Just feel the fuck out of what you're doing. That's all it is. When you're trying to build muscle mainly, just feel whatever you're doing. If you don't feel your back when you're doing, you know, some back movements, find something out or fix it. You can find a lot of tutorials on every workout there is out there. If you're a beginner. But feel whatever feels best for you. One more step. Oof. Fuck it, just cook, bro. Pretty much all this shit is. It's just cable flies with push press. Easy shit, easy to understand. I mean, it's just like I said, mainly just don't feel exercise again. It's not about strength. It's just how much can you feel that shit, right? If you can push 60 pounds with the flies, right, but you're not feeling them at all, you're obviously doing them wrong, right? But I'm doing 40, and I'm feeling beautiful, right? But like I said, this exercise is more of just a feel rather than weight. So go lightweight, go fucking high intensity. Simple as that. Yeah. <sighs> 
Fuck, I'm making so loud. Triceps, maybe your shoulders if you're doing something wrong, maybe like doing this too much. Yeah, so you gotta keep your back squeezed and then just push all your chest. Um, when it comes down to it, you know, what makes me have a drive in the gym is I used to be skinny, so either I think about some trying to beat the fuck out of me, my family, my girlfriend, whatnot, or I'm just getting have something that drives you. If you don't have anything that drives you by yourself, Imagine someone's gonna come kill your family. You have to train. You have to. All measures. Push. Last exercise for chest. I'm going back. We're gonna go to fucking back. It's a mad simple name for this exercise. Elbows to hips. Squeeze the fuck out of your lats and then stretch. That's what I like about this grip. I don't use it too often, but I feel the most immaculate stretch and squeeze from it. But obviously, I probably prefer like a long bar over it, but I'm just kind of switching it up just to get you know, used to different shit. But this grip just feels amazing, so. I got 150 only on right now, and I'll probably go maybe up. 160 maybe, but that's, you know, if I feel like maybe I'm a little bit heavier, but this is mainly just about the feel, you know, instead of weight, so. Because if I'm doing four weight, I might go for 190 on this shit, but 145, 150 feels fine. So. Okay. We're gonna go 165 at least. again and once every video and only once main thing part of just back exercises but mainly just rows just squeeze the fuck out of your back and I mean yes you're gonna have a stretch feel but the squeeze on a row I mean if you're not feeling a squeeze then you have you gotta be doing something because there's no way you don't feel squeeze on your shit no matter what it is I don't even care if it's the heaviest weight you're gonna do one rep you're gonna feel a squeeze on back row specifically so two sets of three sets of this and then we're gonna go to maybe a set of two sets of binner rows, but if not I'll figure out something.
That felt fucking great. You guys will see set three. One arm pull downs. We got the max stack on. I don't know how much this is gonna be for me. I don't get like five reps. But we're gonna just squeeze the fuck out of my lats. Catch. Simple. Settling. So for this workout, it's gonna hit your upper back. Um, I usually want to do these, but I have low weights only to me, and I mean, I don't really want to do anything else. So this is kind of like my, ne my next best option for a row on my back, on back. So this is definitely a great exercise to build your upper back and just look like a fucking turtle. So one, we're gonna go two sets, and then we're gonna go. Super simple, we're gonna do some rear delt flies. So, hit the rear delts, tra upper traps, lower traps, mid traps, basically the whole upper back. I said, holy shit, that sky look fucking beautiful, god damn.